Hello everybody, thank you for joining me with the question on whether the OnePlus 3 can compete with the OnePlus 5. This was just released, but with this OnePlus 3, I've replaced the kernel, I've overclocked it, I removed boltware, and I renamed the log file, log D file, so that all kinds of custom logs aren't being created, things that I'll never look at, but yet slow down the system. With this modified, it's much faster. And uh, let's see how it compares against the OnePlus 5. Maybe you won't need to upgrade if you're on the fence. So let's find out. All right, everyone, I'm starting here in Twerp. I just wanted to show you, I'm gonna reinstall the uh, Elemental X kernel just to show you that that is what I put in place. Here's the installation for Elemental X. Now I want to point out it's the June 20th version, version 3.05. I agree, sure. All right, here's where we're going to overclock. We're going to go from 1593 stock to 1728 overclocked. We're also going to take uh, the big cluster, the other one was the, the little cluster, big little cluster for the Snapdragons. Uh, we're going to take the big cluster from 2150 up to 2265. We're going to leave the same I.O. scheduler, although messing with that can also bring you additional benefits. You, you might perceive one uh, as better than another, um, but that's for you to try. And uh, I don't really care about this, this uh, sweep to wake. I'm sorry, sweep to sleep, excuse me, so I'm going to disable it. Now, one thing I do is I use dis, uh, disable F-Sync, and as it says here, faster file system performance with risk of data loss. Now, this is solely up to you, but um, if we're talking about speed here, I'm going to turn that on. Uh, I'm also going to turn on the uh, copying the Wi-Fi module into uh, the system partition. I believe that's for additional speed as well. Ready? So let's go ahead and do this. We'll fast forward now. It's all done. And we are going to wipe the Dalvik cache. It's probably not needed anymore and reboot the system. Unfortunately, this is a message you will get once you root your phone and put a custom kernel in place. Custom recovery, excuse me. All right, so I've put cases on my phones because they slide around during this. Uh, all right, so again, looking at these, they perform very similarly. There's there's hardly any difference between the two when it comes to just general browsing and looking around. Now, uh, let's go into 3D Mark and run that. I'm gonna speed this up here, so uh, just Stay tuned and you'll get to the results very soon. All right, the one plus five turned into a respectable score of 3593 on Slingshot Extreme. The one plus three overclocked, returned to 2611. Ready, set, and go. Not sure why, but the OnePlus 3 finished before the OnePlus 5. Let's see if it translates into better score. And no, it doesn't. When it comes to single core performance, uh, 1762, a very respectable score. But the OnePlus 5 did outdo it by a small margin here, maybe 15%. When it comes to multi-core though, the OnePlus 5 outperformed the OnePlus 3 by about 50%. We have PC Mark. As you can tell, the OnePlus 5 did load the program faster than the OnePlus 3. That alone could be a reason to go with one versus the other. Let's start work performance 
There you have it, folks. PC Mark. Very close score. There were times when the OnePlus 3 actually outperformed the OnePlus 5, and then eventually the OnePlus 5 came back to catch up and slightly surpass the OnePlus 3. Good run for the OnePlus 3 on this one. We Moving have on. Velomo. We're not going to do speed test. <coughs> We're just going to do web view performance. Uh, as you can see from our previous test, scored 6,278 versus 7,951 on the OnePlus 3. So, web page viewing, browsing faster on the OnePlus 5. When it comes to Chrome, again, the OnePlus 3, 5495 versus 7106. There you have it, people. Thanks for watching my video. On the left, one plus three. On the right, one plus five. The difference between them, not as great as it might seem, even though there's two generations apart. With the one plus three, with kernel modifications, some slight tweaking, you can get similar and close to the one plus five on performance. In some cases, actually beating it, but in most cases, the one plus five pulls ahead. For me, I prefer the OnePlus 5. I am a power user, and I would not want to give up that speed. And I will be selling my OnePlus 3. Thank you for watching.